、えー、と協定は、えー、マレーシア工科大学と静岡大学それからマレーシアの、えー、テイラーズ大学と静岡大学との間でその MOU を結ぶんですけども、えー、UTM とはその特に研究面それからテイラーズとは学生教育学生教育も、えー、学士からドクターまでそれをどういうふうにそのグローバルに展開するかっていう意味でこの2つの大学と協定を交わすってことはものすごく静岡大学にとっても、あのー、いろんな利益をもたらすんじゃないかなと思ってますテイラーズとはもうこの数年いろいろ、あのー、学生交流それから、えー、教員の交流を行ってきたんですができれば、えー、グリーン研究所とテイラーズあるいは静岡大学とテイラーズの間でもっと進んだ協定ブランチ研究所を置きたいと思ってますよグリーン研の、えー、海外ブランチをテイラーズとそれから、えー、UTM にぜひ置きたいなと国際交流協定結ぶのは簡単です問題はその後が問題ですいかにこの協定を有益にして本学にですね、えー、有益な関係を結ぶかまたこれから今後というふうにアジアのいろんな国と共同研究を持っていくかが一番大きな課題ですねクリーン科学研究所のミッションというのはやっぱり今後の20世紀のエネルギー研究、ね、食料あとは原稿これ3点これ全てこれから東南アジアと一緒にやらなきゃいけないことなんです東南アジアというのはやっぱり人,人的に思考資源もですねあとは自然資源も非常にこう豊富なんですよねそういうところに日本のまあ、我々のテクノロジーを持っていくあのマレーシアと静大とはあの初めての協定なのでこれであのアジアの協定校っていうのは非常にたくさん増えましたあのですから今後あのアジアとますますこうあのこう協力関係を築けるということで非常にあのマレーシアと協定が結べたっていうことは非常にいいことだと思ってますあの大いに期待してます It's a, it's a, although it's a very short visit, but I think we are proud to be part of this、uh, big program by Shizuka. And of course, we are proud to sign a MOU and also MOE with Shizuka. I know our professors have already been working with、uh, the professors from Shizuka.、Uh, in fact, last year I was told there, are series, there have been a series of seminars attended by our professor and as mentioned by my colleague from t e l e s College.、Uh, We have、uh, areas that we can collaborate, and、uh, for UTM,、uh, as one of the top universities in Malaysia at the moment,、uh, we feel that、uh, there are areas that we can、uh, collaborate and support i n g each other. And of course, we will participate in uh, whatever uh, program that we can arrange together, and、uh, hopefully, this will、uh, create more opportunities. Thank、uh, Shizuka uh, University uh, for inviting、uh, myself to come for yesterday's、uh, symposium. My name is Angela p a u l I'm a Vice President Student Experience from k a l e s University, Malaysia.、Um, it's a very h o n o r e d、uh, to have this opportunity and to、uh, really participate in this、uh, kind of very、uh, meaningful and historical moment.、Uh, For us to work very closely with Shizuka University. I'm、uh, very proud to see the enthusiasm from the professors from yesterday's、uh, presentations. Actually,、uh, they have planned, and uh, uh, what the, assi-、uh, the assignment that we are looking at is uh, uh, with the joint research collaboration among the students and the,、uh, and the staff and the professors. Actually, everyone put forward together to really see. Uh, the, uh, the synergy and to resolve、uh, the region issue, especially in the Asia Pacific. I must thank a s h i z u k a University that the, 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 the effort that all of you have put in. Actually, you are not just、uh, trying to solve the nation's issue, but you are looking at the regional、uh, perspective, which is a kind of amazing effort that I really、uh, wow to all of you. And、uh, we are very excited to work together with、uh, Shizuka University. Arigato gozaimasu again. Thank you so much. 静岡大学のグリーン科学技術研究所あと農学部も担当しています原と申しますあのわさびを使った新しい農業技術です
わさびの辛みの成分にあの植物が熱に強くなる、まあ、そういうあの働きを見つけましただから静岡で採れているわさびの辛みの成分を使って暑くて困っている地域の農業それをサポートするような技術を開発したのでそれを今日発表しましたえっと工学部機械工学科の、えー、浅間と申しますよろしくお願いしますえっと私の研究室で行っている磁気時空計とベアリングレスモーターの研究を発表しましたで磁気時空計っていうのは、えー、回転体を非接触で、えー、支える、えー、機械要素でベアリングレスモーターっていうのはその磁気軸受けとモーターをこう一緒に合わせたようなそんな、えーとえー、とモーターですそれに関して今日は発表を2つほどちょっと実験装置の、えー、と動画を交えて発表しました、uh, Hello,、uh, my name is Sabar Pambudi、uh, I came from Indonesia so I came here to have some research activity with Shizuka University Uh, so during my stay,、uh, I will work with、uh, one student、uh, from Japan. So we have some topic about、uh, dengue vaccine development by using a、uh, sick worm、uh, expression system. So actually,、uh, I have two parts、uh, in this presentation. So first, I will、uh, talk about、uh, the development of diagnostic for dengue infection, and the second,、uh, I will talk about the vaccine development for dengue. So, mainly, the, the, my topic is about how to develop this kind of、uh, diagnostic and vaccine in Indonesia. Because Indonesia is one of the,、uh, how to say, it's very, this, this is very tough in Indonesia. So, we need to provide this kind of tools to reduce the infection in Indonesia.、Uh, I'm Professor Dr. w i s a n u p e t r a p a from King m o n g k u t Institute of Technology, Lat Kabang, from Bangkok, Thailand. And I'm right here for, to be the invited speaker on the current research work in nanotechnology and nanomaterials. First of all, I, I, I be invited by Professor Hidenori Mimura from Research Institute in Electronics in Hamamatsu Campus. I'm very impressed,、uh, very uh, impressed here for.、Uh, To be in the Chisuka University in the International Symposium. This is the fifth time already. And、uh, I, I hope this symposium will be the bridge between Asia c o u n t r y and Asia or ASEAN University to have a next collaboration in research work in the near future. I'm a member of the University of Asia. えー、と私の研究内容を今日あの、まあ、2つほど紹介したんですけれども私はあの個体の表面の上に物質の表面の上に有機分子とかをあの有機分子をですねあのくっつけてでそこで起きるあの新しいデバイスあの素子を作ろうという研究をしていますで特にあの1個の分子を制御してで表面の上に並べたりとかですね1個の分子をある空間に閉じ込めてでその動きを観察したりとかっていう研究をしています。本当にあの小さいスケールのですねあのところでとても面白い現象が起きてますので、まあそういったことがあの皆さんに今日伝わればよかったかなというふうに思っています。えっと工学部の、えー、河野哲也と申します。え今日はあの非常に小さな、えー、微小共振器という光をこう非常に1ミクロンぐらいのところにとどめる、えー、機構を利用してそれをあバイオセンサーに応用しようと。I'm、uh, Professor Ishwaran. I belong to the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering at the Indian Institute of Technology, Hyderabad. So I, that is in South India. And Indian Institute of Technology, there are kind of some 15 of them. There used to be only, originally five. So now recently they have expanded. So this is a new institute, one of the new good ones that have just been created. So I come from there. I think、uh, the initiative that Suzuka University is、uh, making、uh, in Asia is a very, very in interesting initiative because it allows us to interact with Japan, which is a very technologically advanced country, and、uh, we can learn a lot from there. But we also have our own strengths,、uh, which、uh, I hope will be recognized by the Japanese researchers. We have、uh, excellent facilities in some of the IITs. Uh, which I think will be able to do some of the research that is being done here. 
and uh, there should be fruitful collaboration in uh, between Suzuka University and the other ancient institutes including IIT Hyderabad. I think it will be very possible. So, so I think it's a very good initiative. To conclude, it is my wish upon the occasion of Suzuka University International Symposium 2015 that all the participants have total exchange through the course of the conference and participating institutions will continue to prosper through the friendship and partnership. Thank you very much for your attention.